In Ethiopia, the construction sector stands out as one of the largest industrial domains, ranking second only to agriculture in terms of employment generation. To combat poverty, enhance infrastructure, and boost job opportunities, the Ethiopian government has initiated numerous mega-construction endeavors. This video delves into nine such ambitious projects, highlighting Ethiopia's emergence as a key player in East African infrastructure development. Let's dive in. Number nine, the upcoming Addis Ababa International Airport aims to be a cutting-edge global aviation hub, solidifying Ethiopia's position as a leader in African air travel. With the current Bowl International Airport nearing its capacity limits, Ethiopian Airlines is spearheading this $4 billion project situated in Beshoftu, 25 kilometers from Addis. Envisioned with four expansive runways and a state-of-the-art terminal, this futuristic airport is poised to accommodate over 100 million passengers annually, surpassing the traffic of Atlanta's Hartsfield Airport, one of the busiest in the world. Additionally, plans include the development of an extensive airport city featuring hotels, shopping centers, residential complexes, and office towers across vast hectares. Incorporating advanced technologies such as automated baggage systems, biometric security, and autonomous shuttles, the new airport aims to set a benchmark for operational efficiency. Furthermore, with a focus on sustainability, the incorporation of solar panels, green spaces, and eco-friendly construction materials will make it a global model for environmentally conscious aviation infrastructure. Number eight. The iconic Misab Tower in Addis Ababa merges traditional Ethiopian architectural elements with modern skyscraper aesthetics. Standing tall at 70 floors and crafted from marble, the tower draws inspiration from the design of Misab baskets traditionally used for serving injera bread. Soaring to a height of 250 meters, the Mi Sob Tower is set to redefine Addis Ababa's skyline, becoming an emblematic landmark of the city. The tower, with an estimated cost of $681 million, will boast a luxurious array of amenities, including a five-star hotel, high-end retail outlets, a cultural center, an athletic club, spa facilities, and a rooftop garden. Innovative wind tunnel testing has led to the distinctive curved design of the tower, ensuring optimal aerodynamic performance. Incorporating climate responsive technologies such as photovoltaic glazing, rainwater harvesting, and passive cooling systems, the Mi Sob Tower attains world class sustainability standards. Additionally, the project is poised to stimulate local economic growth featuring incubator spaces aimed at nurturing young Ethiopian entrepreneurs in diverse fields like fashion, technology, and the arts. Expected to be completed by 2027, the Mi Sob Tower will serve as a prominent national symbol, drawing tourists and investment from across Africa and beyond. Number seven. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, situated on the Blue Nile, is poised to become Africa's largest hydroelectric dam upon completion. Spanning a staggering length of 1,800 meters, this monumental roller-compacted concrete gravity dam will create a reservoir with a capacity of up to 74 billion cubic meters of water. Beyond its sheer scale, the dam promises significant benefits including the mitigation of flood risks and the enhancement of irrigation opportunities for farmers residing along the Nile Basin in Ethiopia and Sudan. However, the $4 billion project has sparked concerns in Egypt regarding potential reductions in water flow, sparking tense negotiations among the three nations involved. Housing two power stations equipped with 16,375 megawatt turbine units, the dam will provide access to life-changing electricity for millions of Ethiopians, given that only around 44% of the population currently has access to electricity. Such a mega-project is crucial for Ethiopia to tap into its vast 
hydropower potential and realize its ambition of becoming a major power exporter. Despite ongoing discussions regarding safe reservoir filling guidelines, the Grand Renaissance Dam is already nearing completion, with around 80% of the project finalized. The commencement of operations for the first two turbines is anticipated in 2024, a development that could position Ethiopia as Africa's foremost hydropower producer. Number six, the newly constructed 756 kilometer electrified rail line connecting Addis Ababa and Djibouti stands as a landmark achievement in Ethiopia's transportation infrastructure. Costing around $4 billion, this modern railway system represents a significant milestone for the Horn of Africa region. Operating at speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour, the rail line has dramatically reduced travel time and improved connectivity between Djibouti port and Ethiopia's capital. Previously, freight transport from Djibouti to Addis Ababa took three days by road, but now it only requires 12 hours by rail. This efficient transportation link has opened up new opportunities for trade and commerce, facilitating the movement of goods and people across borders. With a design capacity to handle 3.5 million tons of cargo annually, the railway provides a vital lifeline for landlocked Ethiopia, offering a faster and more environmentally friendly trade route to global markets. Goods such as livestock, food aid, fertilizer, and manufacturing imports now have a reliable and efficient connection, reducing the risk of spoilage and ensuring timely delivery to their destinations. Moreover, the electrified rail line not only enhances Ethiopia's domestic transportation infrastructure, but also strengthens its position as a regional economic hub. By providing a swift and reliable mode of transportation, the railway attracts investment, promotes economic growth, and stimulates trade within the East African region. Number five. The much-anticipated dedicated headquarters of the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Africa CDC, has finally been established in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Financed by the Chinese government with an investment of $80 million, this state-of-the-art complex marks a significant milestone in Africa's ability to lead pandemic response and manage health emergencies on a continental scale. This futuristic facility is equipped with a comprehensive array of resources, including a situation room for real-time disease monitoring, emergency operations centers, advanced biosafety laboratories, training facilities, and more. Interconnected with Africa CDC's regional centers and national public health institutes across the continent, the headquarters will play a pivotal role in coordinating health security strategies throughout Africa. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Africa CDC emerged as the authoritative voice for pandemic response across the continent, despite lacking a permanent headquarters. With the establishment of this new facility, Africa CDC solidifies its status as a world-class institution capable of conducting cutting-edge epidemiological research, training numerous health workers, and deploying rapid response teams during disease outbreaks. Number four, the ongoing construction of the Koisha hydroelectric dam situated on the Omo River in southern Ethiopia represents a significant advancement in Ethiopia's energy infrastructure. With an estimated cost of $1.7 billion upon its eventual completion, this monumental project will contribute 2,100 megawatts of electricity through eight turbine units. Standing at an impressive height of 180 meters, the Koisha Dam will utilize one of the tallest roller-compacted concrete gravity dams in Africa. Additionally, its reservoir will offer a substantial storage capacity of 9 billion cubic meters, facilitating the regulation of water flows for irrigation purposes and mitigating downstream flooding risks. 
Despite being funded domestically, the project has encountered delays attributed to financial constraints. However, its considerable scale and strategic significance have warranted ongoing support from the Ethiopian government. Such megadams, exemplified by Koisha, are pivotal components of Ethiopia's ambitious development agenda, aiming to transform the country into a prominent energy exporter to neighboring nations. Number three, the newly inaugurated Science and Technology Museum in Addis Ababa, funded by China, offers young Ethiopians immersive experiences in scientific disciplines crucial for the nation's progress. With an investment of $20 million, the museum has already captivated thousands since its launch in late 2022. Spanning seven hectares, it features cutting-edge exhibits showcasing robotics, biomedicine, computing, aviation, and more. Children can engage in hands-on chemistry experiments, interact with humanoid robots, and enjoy 3D films at the expansive dome IMAX Theatre. Designed as an ultra-modern glass complex, the museum also highlights Ethiopia's historical contributions to astronomy, mathematics, and nature-based technologies. By integrating modern and indigenous knowledge, the museum aims to cultivate the next generation of Ethiopian innovators. Its rooftop solar farm ensures sustainable power for the entire facility, while the adjacent botanical gardens provide a connection to Ethiopia's rich biodiversity. As the inaugural science museum in Ethiopia and Africa, this institution is at the forefront of fostering public understanding of technologies that will propel Africa's future development. Number two, the Lager Mixed Use Development stands poised to breathe new life into downtown Addis Ababa. Situated on the former site of the railway station, this $1.5 billion project encompasses 4,000 upscale residences, a business complex, hotel, and retail outlets. Positioned strategically opposite government offices and the Central Business District, CBD, Lagar is expected to inject fresh economic vitality into a previously neglected area while catalyzing urban rejuvenation efforts. Distinguished by its ultra-modern design, Lagar incorporates environmentally conscious features such as solar panels, green roofs, and rainwater harvesting systems. Developed by Eagle Hills, a prominent real estate investor from the UAE and one of the largest foreign direct investors in Ethiopia, the project underscores the increasing involvement of the private sector in Ethiopia's construction boom. Moreover, Lega is anticipated to create numerous employment opportunities for the local populace. Additionally, on-site business incubators are slated to support young Ethiopian entrepreneurs in nurturing tech startups. Number one. In 1896, Ethiopia's monumental victory at the Battle of ADWA not only secured the nation's independence, but also served as a beacon of hope for liberation movements across Africa. Spanning 3.3 hectares and costing $9.5 million, the ADWA Center commemorates this historic event with a grand museum, amphitheater, libraries, and youth recreational facilities. Additionally, it boasts an ultra-modern parking garage with a capacity exceeding 1,000 vehicles. Through interactive exhibits, artifacts, and films, visitors will be immersed in the battle and gain insight into the unique strategies employed by Ethiopia to defeat a modern European army. The center vividly portrays the accounts of heroes like Emperor Menelik II, who led Ethiopia to victory. By honoring this iconic African triumph over colonialism, the Adiwe Center promotes pan-African solidarity and instills a sense of pride in African heritage. Adjacent to the center, a memorial park provides a serene space for reflection. These nine mega-projects exemplify Ethiopia's infrastructure revolution, spanning from airports and dams to railways, 
by enhancing connectivity, energizing industries, and creating opportunities nationwide, Ethiopia's construction boom, coupled with sustained economic growth, is propelling its emergence as a key player in Africa. These ambitious initiatives underscore Ethiopia's ambition to become the foremost infrastructure leader in East Africa. Share your thoughts in the comments on which of these mega-projects resonates with you the most.